All right, good morning, everybody. It is Saturday, November 7th, and yesterday morning didn't pan out kind of the way I wanted it to. Seen two doe come across that field right at first light. Uh, a little after that, had a buck skirt the back or the front of that property where I actually come in from about 100 or 250 yards away. Um, right at about 9.30ish, something like that. Had a spike work that transition. Ide exactly, ideally, how I set that up you know, you mow in those transition lines into those open fields so that they're forced to basically work that transition right to you. And that spike did just that, <clears throat> excuse me, came in right to 30 yards. Um, and then right at about 10 o'clock, the neighbor uh, drove his side by side right down through the middle of the field. And I mean, you know, it's just part of it. He's got just as much right to go across that field as I do to sit there and hunt. So bottom line, I, I climbed down got all my gear out and uh, went and met up with Matt out at the drop zone we picked up a bunch of corn um, scouted that area because I believe that's where we're gonna go as of right now that's where we're gonna go we have no, we haven't sat there at all have no Intel out there don't have any cameras running because uh, they kept getting stolen but it's just gonna be a surprise hunt for us whatever shows up shows up so we did find this little bottom this little pinch point where the deer are crossing and coming into the property and uh good activity good sign right there. there's a mowed down path good buck prints good rub on a big cedar tree so um that's where as of right now that's where we're going to be next saturday morning but who knows i mean it just depends on hopefully i'm just a cameraman because i'm going to get out here and have a, a ton of success today but it's 42 degrees right now based on my truck the app says it's 45 it's supposed to be as high as 75 78 degrees today so the end of the first week of November, and it's gonna be close to 80 degrees. Now, a lot of you will be like, oh man, there's no way I'm gonna hunt. Look, bottom line, things are happening in the deer woods. And just that natural progression, those those, those are gonna come into heat. Uh, those bucks are gonna start pushing. They're gonna be on their feet, more and more active, daylight active. And then you just gotta be out there. And so saying that I'm not gonna hunt because it's 75 degrees in November, is just like saying I'm not gonna hunt when it's 90 degrees in September. I mean, bottom line, you have the opportunity to see deer. And this time of year, it's just getting better and better. So there's only so many days in November, you can't waste them sitting on the couch because you think, oh, it's too hot to go hunt. So I'm getting out there and hopefully we'll have some success this morning. And if not, we're gonna just keep plugging away at it and we're gonna keep narrowing down this, this plan. But bottom line, I have two new tins. I have the Crab Claw tin and Frisky that I know of all out here on this property. So pretty excited to get out there and hopefully have an opportunity to see one of them this morning and even a better opportunity to sling one of those arrows at them. So guys, continue to hang in there and hopefully I'm bringing you some really good footage here before too long. Stay tuned.
10.30. I just heard two bucks hit their horns together down in the woods. Try to use this extinguisher to get them to come up. everybody it is noon and um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull the first all-day sit of the 2020 season so we had that eight point come through literally right during at the end of a rattling calling sequence came in right at the end of the field and he literally went to every corner of this field looking for where those bucks were at so he worked his way off all the way across the field back over to that bedding side. And then I did another rattle sequence about 45 minutes later. And within about as, as fast as I could put um, everything down, had that button buck come up in the field and he was looking hard. So those are the only two deer that I've seen so far today. But about 10.30, I heard two heavy horns crash together it wasn't like rattling, but you can tell it was definitely horns hitting right down over this hillside in the woods. So I did a snort wheeze, but nothing came up out of the holler. So it's already noon. I've already got six and a half, seven hours tied into this. And instead of trying to sneak out of here, because these bucks will bed all the way around this food plot, and then there's a hill as I have to walk out up in the woods that they bed on where they can see down into this field. So I'm already committed. It's about 70 degrees, so it's good and comfortable in here. So I think I'm just gonna hang out and do the first full day sit of the 2020 season and give myself a little advantage over uh, one, seeing anything that might be cruising early, one, two o'clock in the afternoon. And then as these deer start piling into this food plot tonight, hopefully I'll already be set up on them and I won't have to spook anything coming back in. So. Guys, I'm going to hang in here, and uh, hopefully it's going to pay off. So keep stay, uh, continue to hang in there with me. Stay tuned. Nothing, not a zero, not a single deer. Did see uh, four turkeys right at about 4.30 and then a ton of squirrel. But other than that, nothing um, since this morning. So what I'm thinking is it is getting to that time of year where these bucks are, are starting to cruise, starting to search for that first estrus doe. They start antagonizing all the herd. And uh, so the does don't just want to be out in <clears throat> an open space, like a food plot or whatever. They just literally get pestered by every buck that comes by wanting to check them to see if they're getting ready to breed. So are coming to estrus. So these, these doe will typically start staying down in their, around their bedding, you know, down around natural food stores, down in the woods, and not typically come out into something like a food plot where it's a wide open space. So I think that's what we're seeing right now because 
uh, just seen those, you know, that young eight point um, this morning, good up and comer, two year old. And then uh, a little button buck that came out at the end of the field that separated from his mom. So that kind of helps validate that the does are pushing the yearlings away, the, the fawns away, and they're getting ready to get into that estrus cycle. And they're also staying out of just wide open spaces so that they're not harassed by every buck. So no mature bucks, <clears throat> but I know the guys have been out, so I'm looking forward to bringing you all their footage. I'm getting ready to wrap this episode up and uh, be, sh be sure to keep tuning in. If you haven't already, get down there and hit that subscribe button, guys. It's heating up. Uh, I'm exhausted, 13 hour day to day, first uh, full day sit or all day sit of 2020. And there's gonna be more to come. So uh, rifle season here in Kentucky is opening up let's see a week from today so the 14th which is next saturday and looking forward to that just to uh kind of get that great equalizer out not that i've even seen a buck that i could shoot at or that i want to shoot at uh you got to see that first but at least with the uh with the rifle you'll be able to reach out there a couple hundred yards and, and fill that tag so guys i'm gonna tune out for now but like i said if you haven't got down there already hit that subscribe button you're not gonna miss the action hit that little bell so you're notified when we drop in these new episodes and until next time wake up and hunt <laughs>